So this week, which is last week when you guys are watching this, was just, it was a bad week. I've, I was like out of it the, the entire week and just, you know, sometimes things just don't go your way and then some stuff was like totally out of my control. Like for example, uh, my power was out so I didn't really get to do much for like two days. Whoa, look at this. Dang. Oh, that tree's going down right there. What the heck? I think this tree's gonna fall. Oh my gosh, I'm taking cover behind the door. And this is what happened when the power went out. Look at this, giant tree right here, another giant tree right here, this is at my apartment. And then you go down a little bit further, another giant tree fell, and this one right here, this one's crazy guys, look at this. Nature is scary. That's the carport, that's a tree that fell on the carport and ruined the entire thing. But hopefully you guys are watching this video on Monday and it's the start of a new week. But I'm gonna take this Saturday as like the start of a new week for me. Right now when I'm filming this just because it was it was just not a good week with all that stuff. And you know what makes it even better? The power was out for about 19 hours. So I think a lot of the stuff in my refrigerator is probably not safe to eat. The purge anarchy right here. This is the real purge. Look at this. Oh man, that would just, that would be perfect if this bag broke. So I haven't weighed in a while. It is 209.2, which is good. My abs are definitely starting to pop again. I haven't seen them like that in quite some time and I'm still kind of waiting on my obliques because I think I have to get down to 200 to be able to see that. And I just realized that I always pose in the bathroom. So I'm gonna put the camera up here. This is a first time exclusive on my channel. Put the camera right there and just kind of do this in natural lighting to show you guys. It's really hard to pose and talk, but that's what I'm looking like right now. I'm happy with it. And I've kind of cut back my cardio from three sessions, 30 minutes to two, because Pokemon Go came out. And yes, believe it or not, video games can be cardio, guys. And I have definitely found that out the hard way. I really do like the game. It's awesome. Not ashamed to say it. This is my pre-workout meal right here. It is two servings of rigatone and then 180 grams of Beyond Beef. And then I'm gonna add one serving of sauce, which is 124 grams. But this sauce, guys, is really, really good. Great value. Romano Parmesan. I can't say enough good things about this sauce. If you go to Walmart, I recommend this one a lot. All right guys, so now I am on the way to the gym. Lunch is down, farmer's tan looking good. And look at the car, guys, look at the car. I look like a pack rat or a hoarder or something. It's actually stuff that I need to go take to Goodwill to donate, but my car is a mess. So I've got a little commentary right here. I'm gonna keep this one pretty short, pretty sweet, and pretty to the point. And now that I have cut for a while, like two to three months, I can definitely say that the bulk that I did, the bulk was worth it. With the posing you guys saw in this video, which was probably really bad, I cannot pose at all. I've got a lot of respect for people that can pose. And just looking at this footage right here, specifically my back, I can tell I've gained a good amount of size over the bulk that I did for a few years, and it was worth all of the comments of people calling me fat. I'm just kidding. Well, I did get some comments that called me fat, but it was worth it. Now that I'm getting cut, I can definitely see that I, I did make significant progress during my cut. So focus on the workout here, back and biceps. Now that I'm leaner, I can give you guys a tip and you can actually kind of see it. So if you've been watching all of these pulling motions right here, look how I kind of dip my shoulder, whether it be 
on the pull downs, the horizontal row, or this right here, I kind of bring that shoulder forward just a little bit right there, allows me to get a good stretch, and I contract up and pull through my elbow, which you guys hear all the time, right? It's always about pulling through your elbows, but I feel like you don't really hear the tip about really letting your shoulders come forward a little bit. You don't wanna compromise the shoulder joint and then pull back through your elbows, contract your back and retract your scapula a little bit. You can kind of see that on this movement right here. Just getting a good stretch, taking it back, retracting the scapula. And then this is becoming one of my favorite biceps exercises, which is nothing, it's nothing special at all. It's just an easy bar curl with my hands a little bit closer. And it may just be me liking this exercise because the way that I look when I do it, I actually, I'm starting to look like I lift after a few years, which is good, you know, but I love it. I love the progress. And then I finished off with just some alternating dumbbell curls, trying to get a, a good contraction on these, good stretch and keep progressing. And don't let my guns get any smaller on the cut. Uh, but that's it guys. I've rambled on enough. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video because there's actually some more coming up, but I appreciate you. So we just wrapped up the workout. I'm outside of a Mexican place getting ready to get something to eat and catch Pokemon on a Saturday afternoon. What kind of world are we living in? So we're at this place, my friend Steve and I called The Farm and this is like a giant shopping center. And for those that play Pokemon Go, you know that there is something called Pokestops and it's basically a place where you can like collect stuff if you don't play the game and they're all over this place So like a nerd I'm gonna walk around here and pick up some items and catch some Pokemon and eat some food yeah. Did you get the shot? Yeah Okay, so we're going to the movies. Is this still going? Yeah. Going to the movies. We're going to see Infiltrator. I got you your stuff. As requested. What'd you get me? As requested, one more oh. Gatorade. In the big skinny Wong thing. Sorry. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and then some of these. And then for me, I got some gummy worms, some zero calorie vitamin water, which is not very good, but it's zero calorie and it's better than just plain water. And there is a Bulbasaur in the parking lot, guys. So Let go. I'm gonna Let's have get to it. find it. All right. I'm close to a Venusaur. I'm very close to a Venusaur. Gotta find that. Then we're going to the movies. Yes. Let's See go. you there. Greens available for seating row A. At the front, just let me know where you'd like to sit. Everything in greens available. It's showtime. I'll let you know how it is. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is what Michael looks like whenever he doesn't get his way. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, so we're back from the movie. It was very good. It might be me being biased because I like Brian Cranston a lot. He was good in Breaking Bad. And I like drug documentaries and drug movies a lot. Rotten Tomatoes had the movie out of 65. I would put it on the MKF rating scale. More like a 75 to an 80. I enjoyed it very, very much. So I'm going to wrap, wrap the day up here with 70 grams of some My Protein Whey. If you live in the U.S., use Corey15 and you get a discount. And if you live in the UK, use Corey 10. I always have a link down below in the description. This is a sponsor of mine, by the way, and I really do appreciate them. I'm calling it a night. If you guys like the video, please give it a like down below. I appreciate that very, very much. And anything you have to say, Paige? Nope. All right, that's it.